Hi guys and welcome to the final of our mirror swimming video series. Today we're going to be focusing on breaststroke. Now just a quick reminder before we start, whenever we're doing any mirror swimming videos or any swim mirror swimming demonstrations, we've got to remember three points. So number one is that you've got to take your time, do the movement slowly to start with before you build up any speed. Let's focus on getting them right. Number two is that we've got to stay relaxed just like you would do in the pool. All these strokes have got to be relaxed. And then number three is repetition and doing it over and over again, but with the right technique. Now we're gonna start with breaststroke demonstrations. We're gonna have a look at how you would do it in front of the mirror at home. And then we're gonna focus on some of the common mistakes that we see, not just in the pool, but also out of the pool as well, uh, when you're demonstrating and things that you can do to help correct those. Okay, so we're going to have a look to start with at your streamline. Now, it's so important that when we're in our glide phase on breaststroke that you are as streamlined as possible, trying to minimise as much resistance as possible so that we can then create as much propulsion as we can from the kick. All right, now to start with, you've got to make sure that your back is flat and that you are reaching up into a nice tight streamline, but making sure that your hands are locked out, this time not on top of each other, you don't lock on top of each other on breaststroke, but hands side to side using your thumbs just to hold it in place and then just extending up, squeezing behind your, your ears and then really extending up through your lats and through your shoulders. All right, now if you watch again from the side, now we're going to talk a little bit about this in the common faults and that is your flexibility and mobility. You watch mine, mine's not perfect, all right? But the idea is you're trying to keep your back as flat as you can. You're coming up, making sure that that back stays flat and then really extending up through your shoulders and your lats, squeezing behind. And then if you can, up onto your tiptoes as well. All right, now if you see any curve in my back, that's due to lack of mobility and flexibility through my shoulders and my lats. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the arms now. All right, so we're going to start off arms in front of us in that same position. So hands fully extended, arms locked out, feeling that stretch through your lats and your shoulders, just making a very slight V shape, just ever so slightly, so that your hands are ready to be turned out as you scroll into as you scull out into this first part of the movement. So the first part of the movement is a scull outwards. You scull out just wider than your shoulders into a wide position with your hands slightly turning out to press on the water. At this point, your hands turn back in and it's important that your little finger leads that press. So you're getting that catch and that lift on the water. Your hands turn in, elbows stay high and you come in towards your midline, your hands come together, and then you drive your hands forwards just under the surface of the water or just in line with your shoulders. All right, so let's watch again. Your hands turn out. Make sure that they are going just wider than the shoulders into that wide position. Your hands then turn back in. Your elbows stay high as you press. And as you come together, you squeeze your elbows and your hands and drive forwards. So using your elbows, drive forwards leading with the hands into that nice tight body line. Now you can do it again, focusing um, on getting into that line after each stroke and also thinking about the breathing. So you're starting off this time, the head already down, squeezing nice and tight. You then press out, hands go out, just widen your shoulders, you turn your hands in, you press in, you lift and you drive forwards, okay? Okay, now let's watch your game from the side. All right, now the important thing on this is to make sure that your elbows don't come behind your shoulders. All right, if you watch breaststrokers, elbows will come in at the side here, but they won't come too far back. If you go too far back, you lose your hold on the water, you tend to lose your timing, and you'll tend to sink uh, rather than driving forwards. So let's watch again from the side. Hands go out, we press in, Elbows high, and then down. Okay, 
Okay, so to finish, we're just going to talk about some of the common faults or common mistakes that people make on breaststroke. And again, just like butterfly, a lot of it is down to mobility, as you perhaps saw in my streamline before. So the first one we're going to do is just focus on that streamline. All right, now a few of the exercises we did the other day included just hands on the side of the sofa and just going into a stretch here for your lats. Okay, so you can do that again for breaststroke. All right, a good one that we do to focus on shoulder mobility is called ITW or IYTW. All right, so you're going to start with, if I can move back into position, your head down, thinking about that position that you've just been in or you're focusing on on your breaststroke in an I position. So hands fully extended, and then you're just going to lift and then back down. You're just going to lift and then back down. Then out into a Y position. Same thing, lift and back down. And then out to the side, a T position. Lifting up and then back down. And then finally into a W position. Just lift it up and back down. Good. So, the next common mistake a lot of swimmers make, particularly in the pool, is the way that they kick and they often bring their knees too wide. So we're just going to do a really simple land drill that you can do just to practice your kick. You can get your parents to perhaps watch this or record yourself and have a look at it back. All right. What you're going to do, I'll face this way. Okay, so we're going to start on the floor with our knees in line with our hips. Now the good thing about doing it on the floor is that it stops our knees coming outwards and it stops them lifting up, which is another common mistake press strokers make. So we're going to start off with our head down and we're going to focus on lifting but from the bottom part of our legs only. So you're going to lift your legs up to start with. Keeping them in line with your hips, you turn your ankles out as wide as you can, and then whip round in a circle, finishing with your feet together at the end. Now you can do this again in a streamlined position as well. All right, thinking about your glide phase. All right, just lifting your heels up, turning your feet out, and then kicking round in a circle. Okay, and final and probably most common mistake in breaststroke, and especially when swimmers tend to grow um, or are still working out the coordination is getting the timing of the stroke right. Now one thing I want us to just practice perhaps while we're at home is just making sure that we get that timing right. So the thing we're going to focus on is when our legs actually kick. All right now what I want to see is as your arms are coming in on the in sweep as you're at your highest point your legs only just then start to lift. You drive your hands forwards and then you kick round in a circle as you're just getting into that fully extended position. What you don't want to do is kick too early in your stroke before you're already into that glide phase. All right, so you can perhaps do this in front of the mirror and just watch the timing of your stroke, making sure that you are kicking as your hands are fully extending and as they're just going into that extended lockout position. All right. I hope you enjoyed our final video. Keep liking and sharing on YouTube and we will be sending out some mirror swimming sets soon. Mm -hmm.